So here we've got a question, integral of e to the x sine of x with respect to x. So we've got two terms, so straight away we can see we've got integration by parts. So the formula for integration by parts is u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, so that's the formula. So how are we going to apply the formula? So we've got e to the x sine of x. So we're going to have to apply one of those to either the u or the dv. So let's apply the u to e to the x. And the dv, if I just write that here, to sine x. Okay. So that takes care of that. We've assigned them each value. So now we don't need to do, go through the formula and work out the different bits. So u, we've got v, that would be this one. So v is basically the, the integral of sine of x. So the integral of sine of x is minus cosine of x. And then that takes care of that. And then minus integral of v, which we've got, in du. So we've got the u. So we take the derivative of u and get e to the x dx. Okay, let's plug that into this formula now. So now we've got e to the x sine of x dx equals u times v. So u is e to the x and v is minus cosine of x. So if we write minus cosine of x e to the x minus let's just come down here the integral of v which is minus cosine of x and du which is e to the x and dx so we need the dx as well <clears throat> okay so minus cosine of x e to the x minus minus cosine of x e to the x so we're ready to move on to the next line so what we get is now is integral of e to the x sine of x dx equals minus cosine x e to the x that's part of the answer and just to simplify this now we can put a positive two minuses make a positive the integral cosine x e to the x dx Okay, so that's part of the answer, but now we're left with another integral. So now this is what's called integration by parts twice. So integration by parts twice. So we've already done this by the first one. That's this one. Now our second derivative we've got here. So second, we need to go through this formula again, u dv, for this one. Okay, so u and dv. So u will go as we did before, we'll let u equals e to the x, and dv can be cosine to the x. Okay, so now we need to find v and du. Well, du will be the same. That's, that's simple. But now we need to take v from cosine of x. So now v will equal, so take the, we've got the derivative of cosine of x, so basically we need, we need to integrate cosine of x. So the integral of cosine of x is sine of x. Okay, so now we've got all our bits. Let's bring that down here. Now we can put all this into that formula for this bit. So these bits here, they stay and then that's our new question for the integral so to fit all that in I'm going to come over here a little bit more so we have the integral of e to the x sine x dx equals minus cosine of x e to the x plus right now integral of this cosine of x e x we're now going to enter this in to here so u times v of the second one so e to the x times sine of x 
okay? Minus the integral, v and du. So v is sine of x, du is e to the x sine of x. Sine of x, e to the x, dx. Okay, right. Now, this is all part of our answer from here to here. So that's always going to stay. But now we've got sine of x, e to the x, dx, another integration by parts again. But there's a way around this. Look closely here, integral sine of x, e to the x sine of x, dx. And here we've got a minus integral sine of x, e to the x, dx. So basically, if we add both sides, sine of x, e to the x, we can cancel out this side and end up with everything all on one side. So if we add the integral sine of x, e to the x, dx, and on this side also add the integral e to the x, sine of x, dx, what we get left with is we're going to have two of this one. The integral will cancel out and then we're left with this as part of the answer. So minus and then plus that one, they cancel out. And then this will leave us with two times the integral e to the x sine of x dx equals minus cosine x e to the x plus e to the x sine of x. And now what it leaves us now is divide both sides by two. So divide that by two. Divide this by two. That will then give us the answer, because that will then give us a 1. So basically now we'll see that integral e to the x sine of x dx equals, allow me to bring the e to the x sine x out to the front. I don't like the minuses in the front. They can easily get mixed next to the equals sign. So we go e to the x sine of x minus, now bring the e to the x just to pass, uh, copy the pattern of this one, e to the x cosine of x over 2. Okay, now that will be good enough the answer, but I'm just going to add on one more bit. We could factor out the e to the x and the 2. So now what we can say is it equals e to the x over 2. Take that out and open the bracket. Sine of x minus cosine of x. And don't forget the all important plus c. Okay, now that Give us a good answer. Okay, thanks for watching.